Here I sit in misery, pondering the deep thoughts of life. Who am I? Why am I? What is the purpose of cooking food for an electronic audience that may or may not exist in this fragile simulation we call reality? Wait, what is this? A clarion call? A trumpet in the distance! I hear it! I hear it! There it is! The most glorious two syllables in the English language! It is the sound of breakfast! Ow! Alright, so our breakfast episodes are always popular and this one will be no exception. We're going to make a traditional Scottish sausage, a Lauren sausage. Uh, unlike the irregular patties, this is a rectangular instead of a circle. And we're going to show you the right way to make crunchy hash browns from scratch, not that store-bought garbage for you. And we're going to poach an egg for funsies. Okay, Lauren sausage. We start with a pound each of hamburger and Jimmy Dean sausage. And about a teaspoon and a half of nutmeg. Uh, sure, that's about right. Yeah, why not? And then about a teaspoon and a half of ground coriander. If it comes out. Ooh, that, that might be a wee bit too much. That's fine. A wee bit of salt. That's definitely too much. Four fluid ounces of water. Eight non-fluid ounces of pigo breadcrumbs. And then we use our hands to mash it all together. Keep up until it's well mixed and then wash your hands, of course, you filthy animal. Now we put it in a disposable pan, or even an easily washed pan. We mould it a wee bit. Just so we can have a nice easy thing to cut later, you'll see. We stick it in our freezer for about an hour or so. When we do this, we're going to peel a few potatoes. Now, you can fry these peels and make your own crisps out of them, or you can toss them in the rubbish bin because it is far easier to buy a bag of crisps than make your own. Take a cheese grater and carefully shred these potatoes. Didn't scrape your knuckles because that hurt, I promise you that. Also, this is a wee bit difficult, so handle with care. Now, take your shredded bits and put them into some cold water. Normally you do this in a sink with a colander, but that's harder to film. You see that pink water? Well, that's all the stuff we're trying to get out. That's all the starch. Alright, we're going to drain this sodden mess, and get some fresh water, and add the potatoes again. And as you can see, as we're doing this, the water is cloudy, aye, but it isn't pink anymore. That's important. That means all that starch has gone away. Now, I recommend draining this in a colander, and squeezing all the excess liquid out of these potatoes. Uh, but if you're like me and you have to worry about space and lighting, uh, well, you just use some paper towels. Dry them off that way. And sometimes you go to ridiculous extremes to make it even more dry. Actually, there's a lot of footage here I didn't show you. Get your oil heating and we'll start seasoning our potatoes. We bit of kosher salt, as always. And some paprika, of course. A wee bit of chilli powder. I'm not measuring any of this, I have no idea how much there is. And some cayenne pepper. As you can tell, I like a wee bit of heat in my hash browns. You can leave out this bit if you like. Get some water heated, put it to, to simmer, not to boil. And then when our oil is hot enough in the pan, we'll put a few pieces of potato in there, and when it's sizzling, we'll add on the rest. Ooh, that's bright. Ah, that's better. Alright, we're going to let this sit for a few minutes because potatoes take time to cook and get crispy. Remember, if you have a lot of potatoes that you cook at a time, the oil is going to cool down and not be as effective. Alright, while that's cooking, we're going to go back to our pot of water, which is now simmering, not boiling. And we're going to add about two tablespoons of white vinegar, a pinch or so of kosher salt. And then we're going to take a large spoon and crack an egg right into it. And then we're basically just going to ladle that egg into our water. Uh, set a lid on top. Put our timer for about six minutes. Because we want a nice runny egg yolk. You'll see why later. Right, after an hour, we're going to take our sausage out to the freezer and cut it into thin strips. You don't want the meat to be too frozen or it will not cut. And you don't want it to be totally thawed or it still will not cut. Just kind of swish a wee bit. Now, one of the key features of a lawn sausage that makes it different from your regular round sausage is that it's cut into a rectangular shape. So we're going to do that with these here. And I'm not going to do the entire thing, just like four pieces. I'll do the rest later. 
Now, after six minutes, we pull our egg out and... Oh! Oh, you, you kind of see it very well here. I'm sorry about that. But this is a perfectly poached egg. And the hash browns, as you can see, it doesn't take any real time at all. And you get some nice quality hash browns. Now, what can make this better, of course, is some cheese. Ah, uh, just sprinkle as much as or as little as you want on there. After a couple minutes, you got yourself some nice cheesy hash browns. Lucky you. Alright, so the sausage is going to cook up quick and easy. It's only going to take a, yeah, a couple minutes, tops. This pan is a wee bit smaller than usual, so I didn't do all four pieces, just three. After about, I'd say, a total of five minutes, flipping it every once in a while, you get these nice brown sausages, and that's what you want. Alright, and there you have it. A lovely breakfast composed of a couple of sausages, a handful of potatoes, and a nice poached egg. It's a wee bit technically complicated, but the egg yolk adds a delicious creaminess to the potatoes and the sausage, it binds it all together. We've got a nice breakfast that takes about 30 minutes to cook, assuming you've already got the lawn sausage stored and prepared and frozen. It freezes great, it cooks great, and you can enjoy diner quality food at home for easily one quarter of the price per plate. In the meantime, you're watching Kelt Can Cook, the Scottish cooking child that encourages young men and women to have the confidence and competence they need to conquer the kitchen. <laughs> and I leave you with this beautiful footage of me eating breakfast. <laughs> Happy eating.